one, and this is a service reminder from SV2WRC reminding you to check your PCV valve on any, any car that is older than five years old. Please check your PCV valve on your Subaru before you do major damage. Subaru was constantly changing the location of the PCV valve from Impreza to Impreza. The 2004 STI requires intercooler removal to get to the PCV valve. Two 12 millimeters right here. Those are for the bypass valve. You could also remove this clamp. I put a worm drive clamp on here, but stock, there should be a little pressure clamp. You can take this connection off right here, and you won't have to unbolt this. Now, these bolts are known to strip out. I have a Healy coil in one of these already, which is a stainless steel insert where you drill out the actual old messed up threads and put a new stainless steel insert in so it accepts the same bolt. Don't forget there's a gasket back here in between the intercooler. Then you want to put these aside because these two 12 millimeter bolts almost look exactly the same as the bolts that you use to mount the intercooler. It's these lines right here that go across. Uh, you can use three 10 millimeters. We'll take these bolts off, and then you don't have to mess with taking these hoses off of here because this one in particular, if it's stock still, can be very tough to get off. 10 millimeter turbo T clamp, and then two regular 8 millimeter worm drive clamps. Once you get it off the throttle body, it should just slide off of the turbo and then up and out. Make sure there's not a ton of oil sitting there. You see how I only had that little, little drop? It's because my catch cans are working properly. Some people, they'll actually be able to dump oil out of here. There'll be so much oil. Depending on what catch can setup you have, the PCV valve is going to be located right there. and just try and twist it around. It'll like break its little seal that it's made over the years. And you'll finally be able to work it up out of there. And that is the test. That is not good. That's not, that's not a good PCV valve, folks. 118,000 miles on the STI. I've cleaned this once before, once prior. But that is why I just got this whole entire new assembly here. Part number. Make sure you tighten down all your connections. Make sure your hoses are fully seated. Definitely Subaru will warn against this because the housing, this black housing, if this breaks, you will have a vacuum leak. So here's what a bad PCV sounds like and here's what the good PCV valve should sound like that rattle in there that is paramount to the flow so what happens is the pressure or the vacuum of the intake manifold and or the turbo inlet will take from either the PCV valve when the throttle body is sh open, it's gonna take from here when the throttle body is shut, it's gonna take from the crankcase heads. And it will be doing that all the time, but it just depends on the operation and the openness and closeness of the PCV valve. When the PCV valve gets gummed up from carbon and oil deposits, the valve can intermittently get stuck in the open and closed position, causing smoking, hard starting, excessive oil consumption, and oil seal leaks due to the built up pressure in the heads. Tips on getting your intercooler back on. It is first when you snake this back in, you want to make sure you get this intercooler to turbo connection first. What's going to happen is this is going to crimp up on you. As soon as you push it on, 
just like lip this just real gently along the bottom edge to the bottom and it'll take that little piece of lip that's stuck and you'll hear it it'll like pop on there once that's popped on you can go do your intercooler connection to throttle body here and then the first thing I would do before tightening these two connections here is do your mounting bolts here put your put your bypass valve on and do these hoses back up for the crankcase connection then do these last what that'll do is that'll make sure everything's seated and mounted correctly before you tighten up these hose clamps so what happens if you don't do that what happens if you do the mounting of this last what will happen is you'll be putting stress on these connections here because you might have to pull be pulling or pushing to make the, one of these connections seat correctly and that's not good because then you'll have something pulling on a hose clamp and you don't want that once everything's set up and it's completely mounted then you can tighten these hose clamps here and that'll give you the best leak free seal that you can get on your hose clamps also you want to make sure that this connection is correct do not over tighten these bolts they will strip out um, and you want to make sure that the gasket is correctly seated it's peace of mind that your oil system and your oil contaminant system will not be contaminating the oil because what happens if you start pumping a whole bunch of oil back into your intake track that oil will make its way into the combustion chamber and mix with your air fuel mixture. So it could be detrimental, everyone, especially if you're going for a performance. Hopefully this helped everyone out differentiate between the WRX and the STI, 04 STI, 0203 WRX. And then after that, I can't tell you really what's going on inside there. I only know of these two. So someone said that they're the same but they are definitely different this one's under the intake manifold this one branches out from the crankcase vent side of the oh,